All right, if your 1990 Jeep Cherokee clock is not working, uh, first thing to do is try saying abracadabra. Well, that fixed it for me. But if not, uh, you might want to check the bulb. And to change the bulb, uh, it is a Sylvania 74. It looks like that. And you have to remove the bezel. There's a screw here. There's a screw up here, a screw up here, and another one here. Um, also, this little piece of plastic uh, just pops off. And then once you have all those screws removed, the bezel just pulls off. I can't get this off, but it still leaves me plenty of room. Um, I've also changed the bulb that's in here. With It's the same Sylvania 74. Um, that was a little bit more difficult to get to without the radio out. But uh, let me get the bezel off and I will show you how to do it. I can't remove my radio. I don't know how, but uh, it gives me enough space to work. So once you get the bezel pulled back a bit, it just kind of pulls and it usually catches a little bit on here. Um, this has three screws, two on the bottom, which are also, uh, they're behind here. So this will get a little loose. Um, and then there's a third one that kind of, it's like uh, tucked away up there. It's not too hard to get to. You just have to use a flashlight. Um, so that's the top one and the two bottom ones. Now the part that I found tricky, uh, let's see, how can I do this so it's not gonna get all crooked? Well, I apologize if it gets crooked. What do you want me to do? Um, this bulb was not as intuitive as I would have liked. Uh, maybe that's operator error. But anyway, to remove this, you turn the assembly counterclockwise, just a little bit, and then it pulls straight out. So when the pins are, when those two gold pins are uh, kind of perpendicular to the sheet, then you know that that's the right position and it pulls straight out. Um, installation is the opposite of removal, as all the manuals say. So you want the gold pins to be perpendicular to these two sheets, and you want the two black tabs that are um, not on the same side as the gold pins to fit uh, vertically. So it essentially just fits in there, and then you give it a little bit of a quarter turn, and everything makes connection and you're good. So before you go out buying a new uh, a new assembly or anything, I would start with the bulb. It's a Sylvania 74. Uh, and it's just, just that little guy.